Okay, before we head off on our next trip again, we have some camper truck projects we need to get done. And one of the ones I am doing by myself is replacing all of the screens in the truck camper with noceum proof netting. Okay, I gave this campground like five stars until about 9 p.m. last night when noceums started eating us alive. Came in through every single tiny little crack and they are everywhere. <laughs> Literally everywhere. Jenny was miserable. We were miserable. And look at our bed. And these are all dead from the fan. It was just the worst <laughs> night's sleep ever. And I got the spline and the spline roller all on Amazon. So we are taking apart the old screens, which are kind of ripping and have a bigger webbed screen. I don't know what you call it. Um, so we are replacing it with ones with smaller squares and new spline on every single one of them. So I have done one already. This is the old one. It's got a couple like little rips and this is the newer one. And as you can see, it's darker because the squares are so much closer together. It was pretty easy. You take this little tool and run the spline through this little crack and then you just trim off the outside of the screen. them all except for the big door and as much as I love doing projects with Billy it feels good to do everything completely on my own gotta go show him what are you doing what on earth taking apart the inside of my truck on see what was inside look what I did oh nice good job you want to see how good they are are they much smaller holes than the old ones? Yeah. Nice. No more no seams. Woo! Good job. Can you give me a little breakdown? Oh, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Just starting one project and then leads into something else and then something else. And sooner or later, you got a mess like this. Here, give the camera. Our life is like a complete mess right now because we moved everything into the trimaran. When we were done with the trimaran, we moved everything out of the trimaran. And a lot of that was like boat stuff that we're obviously not bringing in the camper. So we're still trying to figure out where we're going to keep that. And now we're just, some of this stuff was stuff in here. So it just got thrown. We're starting new projects. So there's cabinets open and truck parts apart. And it's just crazy. But for now, I'm just going to install these screens. That was definitely harder to get back in than it was to get out, but it's good. And it doesn't look too baggy or anything. Why is there a surfboard in our bed? I couldn't tell ya. Voila. What are you doing? I am finally hooking up our DC to DC charger in our camper so that when the truck's running, it'll help, it'll charge the batteries in the camper. I should be using a heat gun for this, but I'll have a heat gun handy. Just sand where the ground goes just to make sure it's a nice, clean, good connection. Metal to metal.
All right, we have everything hooked up. We still gotta clean the wires up, but we're gonna turn the truck on. And if we did it right, then the truck should be charging the house batteries of the camper. The DC to DC charger is a smart charger. So it's charging our house batteries, which are lithium ion batteries, the Dakota lithium batteries, and you need a certain charging profile for those batteries. So the DC to DC charger is able to charge those batteries at the certain charging profile, and it is also doing it according to the input, which is the energy from the engine, which is the energy from the alternator. Um, we can't drain our truck battery because we have a setting set so that it will only take the energy from under the hood if it's at a charging voltage. So above like 13 point, uh, I think it's at like 13 and a half volts or something like that. If the truck's not on, it's not at 13 and a half volts. It sits around 13.2 volts, 13.3. Uh, it won't suck down the truck battery. We connect to the charger via Bluetooth. Yep, it looks like uh, we're at, Volt charge. So we have an input of 13.1 volts into the charger that's under the hood into the charger, and then an output, a charging voltage of 13.7 volts, and that should be at about 18 amps. So here's all our uh, that's our BMS, our battery management system, and then our two MPPT solar controllers, and then this is the DC to DC charger, and we're hooked into all that stuff via Bluetooth. So we can see everything. So we're at bulk right now. I want to see how many amps are going in, but I don't see that there. Anyway, so we're definitely getting something out of the DC to DC charger. I'll have to play around with it to see how we can see uh, exactly what amperage we're getting out of it. But it's it's rated for 18 amps at 12 volts. So that's a pretty good amount. That's uh, 216 watts. That's solid. So when we're driving, hopefully we'll be putting in 216 watts. So that'll be good. Just another step towards self-efficiency, not depending on plugging in. Our, our solar panels do a great job, but uh, sometimes it's just not quite enough to keep up with um, our energy needs in the camper. So being able to charge while we're driving, even if it wasn't 18 amps, even if it was eight or 10 amps, like that would help because sometimes you're driving for five, six, seven, eight hours a day. But yeah, just another step towards not depending on plugging in or anything like that. So. I gotta clean up all the wires now and probably get onto some other projects. Hello everybody, today's project is changing out our bathroom faucet shower diverter thing um, because the piece that changes from the sink faucet to the shower head broke off on our original one and Billy could epoxy like a new piece back on but it's gonna be a mess and he's got a billion other projects so I just bought a new one on Amazon for like $20 and I'm gonna change it myself. So this is what we have. This is the piece that broke. So honestly since we've been in this camper for like a year now um, we've been using pliers to pull this up and then we have to like hold it up until the enough pressure gets into the shower and then it's okay but it's a pain and it's been scratching everything and it's just kind of silly so we're gonna change that out today okay Billy said step number one is make sure the water pump is off and then drain the sink so when I disconnect all the plumbing pipes that I don't get a flood in here so water switch is off, the pipes are open, nothing's coming out, so we should be good. And these seem to be like super simple, you just literally unscrew, oh, and there's water. So the pipes are disconnected, now there's little simple screws that just screw the faucet onto the counter. Okay, the sink is unscrewed now. It just, the faucet. I have the inability to call a faucet a faucet. I keep wanting to call it a sink. You just pull that up. The other one should be, cross your fingers, a very simple match right there. 
perfect. Super easy. Sorry I can't take you any closer. The space is just really small, but I cleaned under where the old faucet was. So now I'm just going to pop it in, screw these new pieces on. I wish I had more room. The water switch on. Pray that there are no leaks. Let's see. Nothing seems to be leaking. water no leaks okay and the moment of truth and you're supposed to be able to just pull this up and pressure goes to the shower but this thing is leaking all over the place so gotta fix that okay I figured out the issue when I removed the shower head from the old faucet I accidentally left on this little o-ring so hopefully that's the issue oh you're crooked now you're crooked the other way okay now let's see if that did it turn the water switch back on Another project down.
almost done installing the lights on the camper. Everything's coming out really good. Um, we got the lights mounted. We got everything wired and plugged in. We got the switch mounted and we got the relay control module mounted. Um, now I'm just kind of cleaning up some wires, making sure that uh, everything is, is solid how it's mounted, making sure I like how the angles of the lights are, are pointing. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll do some tests. Just gonna clean up some wires right now.